So there's a number of all the benefits that we get from landscapes like this that we certainly don't need to discount. They're, they're very important to our ecosystems and, and, and this is certainly a perfect example. When we leave structure like this and we have this type of trample coupled with this type of standing structure left, we're actually creating incredible bird habitat. And I've, I've worked with Audubon for a number of years now in developing what we call conservation ranching protocols and our bird-friendly grazing. And this is one of the things that we talk about there is creating and leaving behind habitat that's very critical for our bird populations. And that includes ground nesting birds, songbirds, and migratory birds. You know, they all need the appropriate habitat. And we can very consciously, as stewards of the land, we can use our livestock as tools to be able to cr create things like nesting habitat, brooding habitat, and then food and protection habitat for our birds. So this is really a great example of how to do that. Uh, I, I would venture to say that quail populations have really increased here on this farm, on Steve and Judy's farm, because they have, even though it may have been inadvertent for them, just by the virtue of the fact of the very way they've been grazing, adaptively grazing, they have even inadvertently created all of the habitat, the different types of habitat that quail need as a ground nesting bird here. So I would really think that they're starting to see a lot of quail coming back in as well as many other birds. And we're, we're seeing this literally all over North America. When we can graze this way and create this type of differences in the habitat by what we leave behind, then we're very positively impacting our bird populations. And, and that's why Audubon's conservation ranching program has grown quite dramatically because it, it has made a difference. And most farmers and ranchers want, really do like birds. They really do like wildlife. And once they see what can happen when you transition to this type of adaptive management, then it, it really triggers something inside of them to, to do more of this and to encourage more of that wildlife benefit. <laughs>